I'm going to try and explain how the Biozone sewage treatment system works. Firstly, the sewage is gravitated down into a collection tank where the non-biodegradable matter is separated from the biodegradable matter. And the, this allows for even distribution of the sewage into the Biozone system throughout the day. The sewage is then pumped into the first stage of the Biozone system, which we call the nitrification tank. And this is where the bugs start to eat the poo. Then we move into the second stage where the bugs start to eat themselves and this is called denitrification. Thereafter we move into the clarification tank where the solids that have been left over uh, settle to the bottom of the tank and then are pumped back to the first tank. Then finally we move into what we call the disinfection tank where the ozone is applied to kill all the bugs. Here is an example of an old septic tank system which has now been replaced by a biozone system and because it was continuously overflowing and had to be emptied once a month and it's from a domestic home uh, which obviously had a terrible smell all the time. Here you can see the biozone flush and splay system that it replaced in the background and now the collection tank next to the biozone flush and spray. The biozone flush and spray works exactly the same as the Eisen uh, Nakak system, except that all the four, four tanks are within one single tank. Um, so basically sewage in and clean water out. I would now like to show you a few examples of biozone projects that have been installed uh, throughout the region. The Cradle of Humankind is a particularly interesting project and because of the dolomite soils there, which are susceptible to pollution um, from French drains or uh, the old wetland system that was there was also causing problems with the dolomite soils. We were able to install the biozone system underneath the floor of the exhibition area. Uh, this shows the entrance to the exhibition area and the plant was placed under the floor out of sight and unobtrusively. The sewage from the kitchen as well as the toilets was gravitated from the building down to the old wetlands area which is where the septic tank was situated and we were able to use this old septic tank as our collection tank and able from there to pump it back up to the plant at the exhibition. the plant uh, showing the ozone generator at the end and the last disinfection tank at the end. This plant is at the Tiger Valley College in Pretoria and here we have the biozone flush and spray system installed in Maputo at the Brazilian Embassy and you can see the plant at the bottom there. And we now pan up to see how high the building is, as well as a view from the top of the building. This is a new shopping center under construction in Maputo, Mozambique. This is the collection tank 
been built and now you can clearly see the plant and the ozone generator in the front here which should, so this is obviously the end of the plant here and now we pan up to see the building of the shopping center under construction. Now we can see clearly the biozone system, treatment system for the shopping center just before it is finished. This is the logo for the agents that we have in Mozambique. This is a collection tank for a sewage treatment plant for the mining village for a new coal mine and the Tet River in Mozambique. Here we go back to our old flush and spray system which is situated in the Kalami and there are several of these around the country. This is just to show the loading of the tanks for one of the projects. I think this one was for the the Botswana job, also on a coal mine there, and uh, this is the loading of it. And now we can clearly see the collection tank for the coal mine, Morapele coal mine in Botswana, and this is the plant just before completion. And here with a view from the top. This is a view from the small aeroplane that was flying the biozone Tiemann for a installation in the Okavango in Botswana. And in this particular case, uh, this would be the Niax Pan Tao Lodge. And this is the Pom Pom Lagoon Lodge also in Botswana. And this is the installation there. In Villanculus, uh, this particular hotel was under construction at the end of 2010 and Biozone were contracted to supply the treatment plant there, which you can see in this instance. The All Africa Games are to be held in Maputo in August of 2011 and Biozone have been contracted to supply sewage treatment well, not only for the villages, but also for the stadium in its entirety. Some pictures of the biozone system has been loaded before going to either Botswana or Mozambique. And here was, is Leon driving the forklift to load the tanks. And here is the biozone team. <laughs> 